Hi, my name is Grace Hanvey, and my lesser known historical figure is Mary Coffin Ware Dennett. She was born in uh, April uh, 1872 and passed away July of 1947. She was an American women's rights activist, sex educator, and birth control advocate. She was born in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts. And while Dennett's mother traveled, Dennett and her two siblings stayed with their aunt and attended public school in Boston. Dennett's aunt participated in many social reform groups and wrote numerous articles, spoke at meetings advocating world peace and women's suffrage. Um, she graduated from Miss Cappins in 1891, and from 1891 to 1893, she attended the School of Art and Design in Boston Museum of Fine Arts. Uh, as an art and design student, Dennett studied textile designs and won prizes for her art, which included um, tapestries and leather work. During the early 1900s, uh, Dennett distributed a pamphlet she wrote on sex education called The, side of, the Sex Side of Life, and through the post, um, that triggered a lot of um, legal challenges that contributed to dismantling of the Comstruct Act. Um, Dennett gave birth to her first child, a son, named, a son she named Carlton on December 1900, and in 1903, she gave a birth to another child, her boy Appleton, However, during difficult labor, Dennett became ill, and following the delivery, Dennett's doctor warned her that she should not have any more uh, children due to the laceration in her uterus that required corrective surgery. Uh, Dennett underwent that corrective, corrective surgery in 1907. Um, following her reproductive difficulties, um, Dennett and her husband um, refrained from intercourse Without access to contraception, that was the way they chose to adhere to the doctor's recommendation. Um, in 1915, Dennett wrote a pamphlet titled, The Sex Side of Life, An Explanation for Young People. She created the pamphlet in response to her eldest son's questions related to sex, uh, and she included realistic descriptions of intercourse, often not found in other books that discuss sex. In the pamphlet, she discussed that the books she, has read, uh, the books she had read portrayed sex as more of a fearful and shameful act, where in her pamphlet, she offered a straightforward description involving um, how the reproductive nature is just, like reproduction is just a nature of human. Uh, Dennett became more involved with the birth control movement as she interacted with other women who argued that women should be allowed to uh, control their fertility. Some women, including Jesse Ashley and Clara Stillman, advocated for abolishing state laws prohibiting the distribution of contraceptives. Dennett became involved in a women's rights and birth control advocacy in the early 1900s. And in 1914, she founded the National Birth Control League, also known as the MBCL, which later became the Planned, pa Planned Parenthood Federation of America. She believed that women should have the right to control their own bodies and to have access to contraception. The pamphlet was controversial and led Dennett to becoming prosecuted under the Comstock Act, which was a federal law that prohibited the distribution of obscene material through the mail. Um, she was found guilty and fined $300, but the case drew the attention uh, she needed for sex, ed sex education and birth control. After ending her position with the Vol Voluntary Parenthood League, Dennett continued to receive mail from people asking about birth control and sex education. Dennett continued to work for women's rights and birth control throughout her life, and she was a member of the National Women's Party and worked with Margaret Sanger, another prominent um, birth control advocate. Uh, she also served as the execu executive direct director of the NBCL and helped to organize the first birth control clinic in the United States. Um, Mary Will Dennett should be included in history classes because of her significant contributions to the field of women rights, sex education, and birth control advocacy. Her work played a key role in advancing the reproductive rights of women and promoting sexual health education in the United States. By including Mary Ware Dennett in history classes, um, students can learn about the important role that women have played in advancing women's rights and sexual health. Um, her work can serve as an inspiration to future generations of activists who seek to promote gender e equality and reproductive rights. Um, Mary Ware Dennett's life and work are relevant to the course of US um, cultural identity because she played a significant role in shaping American attitudes towards sexuality and reproductive health. By challenging the Comstock Act and advocating for birth control access, 
Then it helped to establish a cultural identity that values indi individual freedom and reproductive autonomy. Um, Bennett's work also reflects the changing cultural values in the early 20th century of America as attitudes towards sexuality and reproductive health were beginning to shift. Her efforts promote sex education and contraception challenged uh, traditional gender roles and expectations and helped to pave the future way for the first feminist movement in the 1960s and 70s. Um, as a white middle-class woman, Dennett was able to access ed education and opportunities that many women of color and working class women wouldn't have been able to access. However, her advocacy for birth control and sex education also reflected a concern for the well-being of marginalized communities that were disproportionately impacted by the lack of access to like reproductive health services. Um, overall, Mary uh, Ware Dennett's life and work reflect the complex and evolving cultural identity of the United States, um, and her contributions came her contributions continue to shape American attitudes towards reproductive rights and sexual health. Dennett's legacy continues to be felt today through the work of Planned Parenthood, which is still a pretty prominent um, institution today in America and still provides sexual and reproductive health services and education for many people worldwide.